Hello everyone, this is Miss Natalie, your English teacher. I hope you are doing well, safe and sound. In this tutorial, I will explain or discuss the material included for week number 16, starting from May 12th. So on this, on this day, we are going to introduce the new unit, unit number two, that we are going to tackle, titled The Literature of Civil Rights. Now, in this introductory class, we are going to watch tutorials that introduce key themes and texts related to the unit itself and answer comprehension questions in <coughs> that you are required to answer in your notebooks. As for the essential keywords that are connected to the unit, um, you are of course you're going to use them throughout the analysis of the texts, such as civil rights and racial equality, civil rights movement, social change, discrimination or racism, black Americans, African Americans, slavery and freedom, natural human rights, racial segregation, Martin Luther King and Rosa uh, Parks, assassination, injustice and protest and so on. The, this is the first tutorial that we are going to watch about human rights and then immediately you are going to answer these questions and then we're going to discuss them together. Same goes for the tutorial number two. Um, now, on the following day, we are going to introduce a new grammatical topic titled Columns. Uh, in this class, we are going to focus on multiple terms such as punctuation marks, columns, run on, independent clauses, tran transitional words, and, and so on. Uh, you have PPTs, the ebook lesson for, ac lesson for activities, and the uh, description of the the topic itself so, along with tutorials and practice questions. Now on the following day, the 14th, uh, we are going to start uh, with the first uh, text in this unit, which is a speech by Martin Luther King titled, I Have a Dream. We are going to introduce um, the text or the speech um, by learning about the author, uh, focusing on the background story, which is historical context, and introducing rhetorical devices. Okay, so you are going to work on the online Padlet as a sort of literary circles. So the first ta task is to introduce the author in historical context and pr providing some a summary for the speech, and then we're going to move on um, and work on task number two which focuses on identifying essential themes, symbols, and primary rhetorical devices found in the speech. Now, on the following day, after introducing the speech, we are going to deeply analyze, or analyze in depth, the speech, making it this class part two of the analysis. Um, where we are going to focus on uh, the first 10 paragraphs uh, after annotating them together you are going to answer specific questions and then we're going to discuss them together as part of the analysis and, and then on the 16th move that back yes on the 16th uh, we are going to continue with our close reads or our analysis of the speech, making this class part three of our speech analysis. We are going to focus on uh, analyzing paragraphs 11 to 25, and then answer, of course, specific analysis questions. Thank you so much for listening, and have a nice day.